Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cybertron Laser here, back at it again with yet another video. Today we're going to be playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel because this game is very addictive and very fun. And this is actually a breakdown of Eldritch deck, which I use. Um, yes, I am cringe, call me whatever, I'm bad. No, <laughs> Eldritch is just fun, alright? Um, but anyway, this is Eldritch versus Shadow. The rank is pretty low, it's like bronze, but you know, Rank doesn't really mean anything in this game because half the player base is in more than plat, right? Like plat four, five, like, you know, three maybe. Um, so I just, this was one of the early games I encountered and I did make a lot of mistakes here, misplays, blunders, whatever. Um, but that's because I'm learning the deck. I'm still learning the deck. I was learning the deck. This is a very interesting matchup, uh, Eldritch versus Shadow. And it was very close. I thought I was going to lose because I was like 1,500 life points and he was 8,000 or something. Uh, you will just see. Uh, and yeah, it's like very interesting. I'm going to be commentating through the whole game. So let's get started. All right. All right. So duel starts. Um, I have four trap cards with Conk. Uh, and I saw all of them face down, right? Uh, because <laughs> what else can I do? This guy activates Oracle of Zephyra. Uh, he puts... A card from his deck into the field and he summons that all right let's end phase uh he can't attack me because of this clunk uh and then luckily i got foolish burial goods so i can just put uh some paqueros into my uh yeah i can just put some paqueros or conquistadors uh so a thing about this match is that I did not actually know how good Conk was. I did not know with Eldritch on the field it destroys a card. So I always thought, oh, Quaquero, more attack points, let's not banish that one or send that one to the graveyard. But it doesn't really matter. Uh at the end phase I think I summon an Eldritch uh here. So yep, I, I use that to get Scarlet Sanguine and then I activate this on my turn, getting Eldritch. Uh So this is still his main phase one, alright. Uh, I guess that was my turn, right? So now I activate skill drain just to like not activate any abilities. Uh, yeah. So he does shadow Wendigo. So yeah. I don't think that does anything against the trap though, uh, reading the ability. So I activate Scarlet Sanguine to get Eldritch so he doesn't just, you know, uh, direct attack me. Uh, I think the conk still goes. Alright, that's actually perfectly fine uh, because I can just bring Eldritch back. So, yeah. Alright, let's 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 see what happens next. This deck is very annoying, but you know, it was a very fun match actually. I was like on the edge of my seat. It was like 13 turns and took like almost an hour. So, that should really give you a feeling of how good this map was. Alright, I banished that to bring Eldritch or Black Awakening. And there we go. I probably activate Eldlixir. Yep, I knew it. And I bring that from my deck. I banish that one to do, uh, to summon Paquero, I think. Yep, I knew it. Uh, so Eldlixir the Golden Lord on the field. And now I can use, uh, effect activation, right? Activate the effect. Yep, 3500. And there we go. So I think he has some card here. Yep, I knew it. So, Fusion Summon 1. Alright, so he does El Shadow Wendigo, I think, again. Yep, I knew it. Yep. Uh, so, this cannot be destroyed, pretty sure. Yep. And then that's End Phase with uh, Solemn Judgment on the field. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have any card that destroys spells. Uh, I don't think he does, just spoiling the match, but yeah. Uh, pretty good. So, I got another Elixir, meaning I can really summon this. Uh, another Eldritch uh, monster, and I don't go for that yet. I first summon the Xyz monster, Gustav Max, which is the only extra deck monster I actually use uh, in this matchup. It really helped. Uh, I activated Solemn Judgment to cancel his uh, negate, and then this guy uh, activates Shadow Wendigo's ability and then Shadow Schism. And he brings stuff, or no, he doesn't bring stuff, he banishes stuff uh, from his graveyard and fusion summons another Wendigo. So very annoying, but it doesn't really even matter. Uh, yeah. 
Alright, so I got Hawakura on the field, I think. Alright, I detach one Xyz material and I destroy that to get him to 6,000 because uh, the ability is actually, uh, when you detach an Xyz material, it does 2,000 damage. So then, because Eldritch went to the graveyard, I just bring him back with 3,500 and then, yeah, so there we go. Uh, okay, I use Eldlixer again uh, and bring him back, so that's fine. Alright, so I banish Shwak Barrow, bring out Elixir of Scarlet Sanguine, and then I turn. Alright, set Skill Drain, yep, and banish Elixir of White Destiny uh, to bring one of the cards. I think I bring another Elixir here, uh, because Chains Resolve backwards. So that's three Elixirs, uh, very good for us, and then yeah. So I get Golden Lens Forever in my hand. Uh, I don't really use this card much, not that good uh, as compared to the other Golden, Lord, uh, Golden Land cards like Wakero and Conk, especially Conk because Conquistador is like absolutely amazing. Uh, I just didn't realize it when I was playing uh, because I don't really read card effects that much. Uh, basically what Conk does is like you can destroy any card if it's uh, flipped. Uh, yeah, if you flip the trap and it becomes a monster, you can destroy any card as long as Eldritch the Golden Lord is on the field, so that's what that does. Um, but yeah, so right now we have three Eldritches. This guy is just resolving card effects. Uh, I bring another Golden Land forever. And now battle phase for him does nothing. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> because our attack and defense points are the same. So yeah. Alright, I have IXC summon again. Uh, Pretty sure it's like, all right, Gustav Max again. That's fine, uh, because I guess it went back into the extra deck, right? Didn't ever go to the graveyard. Uh, so, so basically, what I did there was I summoned Gustav Max, and then he ended up using El Shadow Grista, but I activated Golden Land Forever. Uh, when a monster effect is activated and you control an Eldritch monster, which I did, tribute one zombie monster and negate the effect, so, and destroy the card. So, that was perfect because I did have an Eldritch monster, I just sacrificed it, and, you know, I can always bring it back from the graveyard, so that's fine. Uh, and then I activated Skill Drain, so I took a thousand damage, but, you know, it's fine. Like I said, uh, before, it was like 2,500 to 8,000, 2,500 to 6,000, pretty much the same thing. Um, and most of that damage comes from Mimi itself, you know? I just use Skill Drain and then Solemn Judgment and Skill Drain again. So she never actually dealt any damage to me now that I think about it. But anyway, that's gone. I direct attack him. He's at 1,500 now. And then I finish uh, Hwok, put an Elixir in there, and then end phase. And the good part about this is that, you know, he just can't do anything anymore. Like, no matter what he does, until unless he gets uh, my Gustav Max away from the field, it's over. Because all I do is, um, you know, just detach Xyz material and that's it. It's over. Like, he literally can't do anything anymore. And I have that uh, Golden Man Forever there, so it literally doesn't matter. I was perfectly set for this one. Uh, Eldritch is a pretty slow deck, actually. It doesn't go that fast. Um, games can take very long, but you do end up getting the advantage over a long time, which is why I love this deck, actually. It's really fun um, play. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I commented pretty fast. I hope I was able to make sense, kind of, um, on how to play the deck, how to kind of play the matchup. Um, yeah, alright. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Uh, like, subscribe comment and share with your friends. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Cybertron Laser out.